Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. Which video game have you accumulated the most hours in? Probably still wow even though I haven't played it for over a decade at this point. Why did you stop? It got too addicting. Yeah just too much of a time sink. I ended up selling my account to a friend so it would be harder to go back to it. I stopped play after a while because outside of dungeon runs and raids all I was doing is leveling my professions and grinding gold at the auction house. One day it just clicked in my brain that I was paying $15 a month to basically work. Age of Empires 2 On and off for 20 years. So much time spent with this one. Remember when Ms. Zone had ranked tournaments? Check out the AoE 2D competitive scene on YouTube or Twitch. Ranked competitive matchmaking is great too. Civilization 2, 4 or V probably. Edit, I've just woken up to a ton of awards and up bodies for this simple comment. Thanks everyone. And because several people asked, I liked 3, 2 and same with 6, which I haven't really had time to explore properly yet, only some 100 hours of playtime, but as said 2, 4 and V were the best for me and took hundreds or thousands of hours of lifetime from me. I've never played Civilian but it sounds like all you need is one game in the series and you're set for life without any of the others lol. I dunno, I played every single title in the main series, and they all had their advantages and disadvantages. 2 was the king of my early teens, 3 was less popular with me, 4 was easily the best game ever by the time it had all its expansions. V was May when it first came out but, to my great surprise, surpassed even 4 by the time all its DLCs and updates were released. 6 is neat but not quite up there with 4 and V for me. Super Mario World I have no way to even estimate, given it was the pack-in and I was functionally poor, it was literally the only game I had for CIS for a year, possibly two. Even after that, I still went back and back. As life has progressed I've had every version of it, compilation, emulator, Game Boy Advance, virtual console. I just keep coming back to it. To me it's not only one of the greatest games ever made, but it's also my childhood. And I feel happy every time I see Yoshi. Maybe my favorite game of all time. I still can't get the alternate exit in Choco Mountain very well. The one where you needed a certain amount of coins in a certain amount of time or something like that. The triple exit level IIRC. Yes definitely a pain. The moment I got 96 levels unlocked was a moment I still cherish. I had spent hours redoing a number of different levels stranded at 94 clears when it suddenly twigged I had to do the false exit of the Star Worlds. Starcraft Brood War About 2 hours a day, almost every day since 1998. Edit, thank you for all the awards. Glad to see so many fans of this great game. In the interest of saving you guys time. Am I any good? Nope. Haven't played Ladder in over a decade I mostly play the use map settings games like RTD, Poker Defense and other great classics. My main during the Ladder days was Zerg. Mutaballs FTW baby. I did the math and if you still play it for 2 hours a day you would have around 16790 hours. Which is 2 entire years of continuous playing. That's still a lot less than most WoW players. Ruscape. I'm really curious how much time I spent in old Ruscape. Every day after school, in 2nd 4th grade, I'd come home, call my best friend, and spend 2-6 to six hours playing Ruscape with him and whatever friends we met along the way, which weren't too many, since we were stupid little kids. That, and me aircraft during 6th and 7th grade. I ran a clan on the forums but we somehow had a lot of members even though I was a bit of a dick back then. The games I always think of for this question, though, are GTA and Skyrim. The answer is probably Skyrim, with GTA a very close second. Ruscape is probably third. Age of Empires 2 is probably fourth. If you can log into your account, you can speak to Hans in Lumbridge who will tell you the age of your account. Mine is 800 days played. Morrowind. First open world game I ever played. No quest markers so you just had to remember who and where or spend a lot of time in going through your basic journal in each city hoping there were enough details. Or just write them on a pad and paper. Not much on the internet to help except for fans on message boards. Then there was a cheat button combo to refill your health and magic but you were only cheating yourself if you used it because you get great XP if you didn't use it. Spent whole weekends in the winter playing that. 
So my first and main Moroid playthrough, I killed Chaos Casades, with no game prompt informing me what I had done, and I continued playing the game my way for months, just exploring, killing, stealing, collecting etc. Then one day I'm talking to a friend about Moroid and they're going on about the story. I'm all confused, what story? You don't just wander around and do random quests. They tell me to go to Bumara and find Chaos Casades, he starts the main mission. So I go and find his house and there he is, dead on the floor, naked, because I stole all of his things. 80 plus hours of game time and absolutely no means of starting the main mission. Moroid is an incredible game and I think about it quite frequently to this day. Fuck yes Moroid. Top 3 most magical gaming experiences of my life for sure. House Telve forever. Edit, love to see the Moroid love. I need to buy some brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts and reinstall. Mushroom house equals best house. Miecraft. Played it for at least 3 to 4 hours daily for like the past 3 years. Miecraft prob my second most played game or Skyrim not sure. Oblivion. Your money or your life. Pay 100 gold. I played Mario Kart Wii I religiously throughout middle school. I'd really like to set my Wii I back up again. I'd love to play Mario Kart against others, but I have no in-person friends to battle did they ever make one with online multi. Yeah, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Switch has multiplayer. Mario Kart 7 on 3DS also did. Microsoft Solitaire. Remember the Space Cadet Pinball. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2 when I was 14. 108D of gameplay. I hate to think how much time I committed to this, I would come home every day from school and play it till I went to bed. I would literally turn it off and get into bed, then dream about the game. Enemy UAV spotted. Most definitely Pokemon Emerald. I constantly replayed the fuck out of that game when I was kid. It still is my favorite Pokemon game tbh. Grass grows, birds fly, and brother, I play TF2. Love TF2, just wish there wasn't so many bots in official Valve servers. At least Faceit exists. Tell me more about Faceit. Or I guess I could just Google it. Skyrim. Easily my most played, lost count of the days where I'd start playing, notice I was getting hungry and realize it was suddenly 9 hours later. Just one more side quest. Truth. A couple of times my husband left for work and then I suddenly heard the garage door open and was like oh fuck it's been 8 hours and had to pretend I'd not fucked off the whole day. That game is still my favorite, it feels like coming home. Yup, you start playing and suddenly it's dark out and 6 hours passed. Worth it every time. Terraria. Happy birthday Terraria. I'm sure you know about the new seed right? New seed. Factorio. I put in 3000 hours just in vanilla and mod packs pushed me over 9500 this year. Sitting at 12758 total as of this post according to Steam. Factorio is my hash one pick for the game they should end as game to use to trick us into solving real world supply chain issues while we think we are gaming. Spaghetti. The solution is always spaghetti. Dude that's what? For, 5 years straight, 8 hours forward slash day. To put in context, and the game was released 5 years ago. That's some commitment. The game has been playable since around 2013. I had a good 2 Kelvin hours during college, before Steam launch plus another 600 since. What can I say, I like the game. I wrote a review about it and for weeks straight I'd get comments on my profile about the hours. I'd say well worth the price of admission even for the base game, mods get even better. Borderlands 2. There is at least two of us. A bit embarrassing, but The Sims 4. It's not the best game I've ever played, but it's easy to come back to. Edit, I should really have said The Sims in general, because I dread to think how many hours I logged in Sims 2 and 3 in my teens. Edit, a wholesome award for death traps, you sick bastard. I love you. Not embarrassing. It can be relaxing to build and design, and Sims can be funny and fun to torture. I've found that building death traps for sims that resemble people who wrong me in real life is oddly satisfying. Ha, huh, my sim looks eerily like that arrogant dollar store douche sack from accounting. Wow look at that, they have the same name too, so weird. 
So, Evan, where did the pool ladder go, ha? Huh? Maybe IT wasn't in the budget, Evan. You ever think of that? I have no clue what you could mean about making Sims resemble real people, please tell me more about that. I played Sims 3 a lot. Sims 2 and 1 too. I just could t get used to Sims 4 because it had less content than even Sims 1. It wasn't a bad game but I was more watching than playing and really limited. For example, fishing, not being able to swim in every ocean, only a few houses per town, loading screens and a more static game world. While making potions or doing that mosaic with island living expansion pack you just watched animations and read text. You just watched and the gameplay was boring. CC, custom content, CAS, create a sim, and the building with rooms was really cool but choosing a color like in Sims 3 was really missing.